Hey guys, Lars here. I hope you all are doing really well and have a really great day. Today I want to quickly explain you how you can fix the problem of having a full disk like you see on this picture here. You can see there's a Piscus P100 out the minor and the disk uh, says 100%. It is always sinking and is probably flatlining for days. In some cases the Piscus P100 uh, gets stuck and it is not able to erase all the data on its disk and rewrite it again. In this case, we need to connect to our Piscis Miner via SSH Connect and via the command prompt. If you don't know how to do this, watch one of my later videos. I explain it in there. Um, but for now, I can quickly tell you, you need to log in via SSH at admin at the IP address of your Piscus Miner and then it asks you for your password of your miner and then you're basically logged in. Let's assume you got an SSH connection to your Piscus Miner. The first thing you need to do, like I mentioned, is uh, you need to get a connection to it and then we can double check for the available space of your miner by doing the command df-8. If you do so, it will show you uh, a list of folders and on the top you can see a percentage of how many percentage of your device's disk space is already full or not. If it says 100%, um, yeah, you know your, your miner is stuck, it is not able to do anything. Okay, the next thing we want to do is type in the command sudo docker, docker ps. This will give us an overview of the dockers. Basically, dockers are those kind of instruments that um, are inside our libraries or inside our folders of the whole miner. And it is showing us uh, if it is doing anything currently. It is, it is just for purpose to get a bit more known of what our Piscus Miner is doing or what our Healer Miner especially is doing. Um, but it's, it is nothing that we really need to understand for now. The next thing we really need to do is we need to type in the command sudo docker stop miner. This will stop the current processes if they are not already stopped. I mean, you could technically see in, in the previous command if our miner is stopped or not but I will assume that it doesn't matter and that you just type in these commands or this command sudo docker stop miner and it will stop every process it is currently doing. Now comes a bit of a tricky part I mean it's not really tricky you just need to copy and paste like I always do in my videos just copy and paste and it will do everything perfectly for you. You just need to make sure that you really copy and paste it correctly. Or when you like to type it in, type it correctly. Otherwise it could erase data from your Piscus Miner uh, and it could potentially break your device. So keep in mind, copy and paste, easy way to go. So the first thing we got to remove is the blockchain data. We're doing this by this command and erasing it. Give it a few seconds, then it will be done. The next thing we need to delete is the ledger data. We are doing this by this command. And after this, you should be done. I assume that you are not on the latest version of your um, I assume that you're not on the on the latest version of your hotspot and or on your hotspot's dashboard and therefore we get two different methods to update your dashboard and get it back to work. The first thing you can do is just by putting in this command thingy looking like HTTP uh, thing. You just need to replace uh, this minor IP in, in, in this um, exclamation uh, in, in those um, yeah I don't know the English word for, for these you just need to put in your minor IP in, in this one here and 
then it should be working. In my case, when I did it, it hasn't worked. And I need to update the minor dashboard via SSH. And while we are currently, or while you are currently in your comment prompt and you are already connected to your Piscus Miner via SSH, you will do two commands. The first one you want to do is cd slash home slash admin. This will redirect your um, yeah, your working area to the home admin. And inside there we will do the second command, sudo uh, wget and the rest of this here. When you have done this, you don't need to do anything, just let it run for a couple of hours, check back again later, do not fast sync or do anything else, just let it do its thing. It will automatically start back up and get the latest blockchain data for you. And you will see the problem of getting 100% disk space is gone. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.